All right, Kate. So are we ever going to see the sun like like consistently? No, no never. <laughs> never ever. <laughs> I hate never, to break ever, it to you, but it's all like over. It's downer. It's it like, is. Ooh. It's yeah. gloomy. But you know what? If we if you had to choose, I'd rather have this weather during the work week mm -hmm. on a hump day. This it's already true. Wednesday. Yeah. It's already hump mm -hmm. day. We might as well have gloomy conditions because the sun will be back for the weekend, and that's a good trade off. Okay, right? sure. So we've got good news in the seven day forecast, but it's going to take a little while to clear out. We've got this pesky, stubborn coastal low that's bringing these cool, cloudy, breezy conditions, and we're dodging showers on and off through the end of the week as well. Here's a live look outside. This is a live look at the intersection of Spring Garden and Broad Streets as we look live from our camera here at the CBS Broadcast Center, and you can see the roads looking a little damp. It's not raining heavily outside right now, but there's a little mist and drizzle. You'll probably need a few swipes of the windshield wipers if you're out and about tonight. Most of the showers are from the city on east now, and west Western parts of our region have actually seen a few breaks of blue sky and sunshine here this afternoon. A quick look at temperatures. You can see we're well below average. We should be around 70. We haven't gotten above the 50s today. 54 the current temp in Philadelphia, 53 in Trenton, 55 in Atlantic City. It's a little bit warmer by a couple of degrees out toward Lancaster and Reading, where a little bit more sun was able to peek through the cloud cover today. But you can see wind speeds right now still breezy. That's making it feel even cooler. In some spots, it's feeling like the upper 40s thanks to that northeast wind, kind of a raw, damp wind, 10 miles an hour in the city, 15 miles an hour in Millville, and 12 miles per hour in Atlantic City. Storm Scan 3 again showing still some light to moderate rainfall, again, mainly from the city on east. Lower Montgomery County as you head up toward the Abington area, up toward Ben Salem and Bucks County, seeing still some light to moderate rainfall, and over portions of Burlington, Atlanta County as well. We are seeing a little bit of light rain right now. The steadiest is right here. These two pockets of downpours in uh, portions of western Ocean County. It's not heavy, heavy rain, but it is going to slow you down out there. And with this low just sitting and spinning off the coast, it's just going to kind of bring waves of moisture back inland over the next couple of days. Timing wise, it's looking as though our best chance to see more showers will be tomorrow night and then again on Friday. But we'll have clouds and rounds of light rain possible at any time through the end of the week. And with that persistent onshore flow, tidal flooding is expected. The best chance is during high tide. So, for example, in Ocean City, New Jersey, tomorrow morning, high tide's about 6.45 a.m. High tide again about 7 p.m. So that's your best chance for some tidal flooding. Be prepared to take action if you live in an area that is prone to flooding. If you are parking your car during low tide, you may want to consider moving things to higher ground because at those high tide times, again, look up the high tide times for where you are, follow emergency managers, regulations, and of course road closures may be an issue. So if you are down the shore, make sure you look up the tide table. And if you live in a low lying area or you own a home there, just keep that in mind through the end of the week. Saturday and Sunday getting a whole lot better with sunshine and temps in the low 70s. Monday, Columbus Day looking great. A lot of kids off school. It'll be a great day to get outside. 72 and the sun does return. <laughs> Yay. It's not Bye. gone forever. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much, Kate.